Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. All right, so, okay. So bottom of the deck when I just finished shuffling here is the Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, the High Priestess. All right, I like that energy. So the Seven of Wands, this is you standing up for what you believe in. Okay, I feel like a lot of you right now, you are stepping stepping up you're stepping out you're speaking up for yourself you're standing up for yourself or whatever it is that you truly believe in you're really having a lot of confidence and i feel like you have this confidence because you are fully aware of the fact that you are indeed protected okay um you may be deciding now to challenge people who you once were a bit afraid of to be honest all right you could have been in a crossroads for quite some time now with the two of swords being here where um I feel a bit of like a, a indecisiveness or a stalemate type of energy. Maybe you didn't really want to, you know, create too much of a fuss because um, of certain people. Some of you, you know, you carry or you like embody this high priestess type of energy. You may be really going within at this time and you're learning things about situations. You're seeing things from a totally different perspective and you're connecting the dots. And now as you're connecting the dots, it's like. I feel that you're taking action and you're realizing that because of the keen awareness that you have and the insight and the clarity that you have about different situations, it's time now for you to stop being indecisive or in this stalemate energy and for you to really take action. All right, because the Knight of Wands is here in the Three of, so of Swords. So it's like you're really picking yourself up. You're not willing to be sad or, or you know, blocked because of the past. You're really just growing now. You're... um turning your pain into champagne you're turning your your pain into um power and purpose and it looks like the seven of pentacles eight of pentacles you're working really hard and this is going to help you to come out of this five of pentacles energy the five of pentacles is you um feeling like you know you are in need of help or assistance you could be having financial hardships sometimes you know the stress the fear the anxiety or you feeling like you are afraid to challenge certain people in your life whether it's in friends friendships family um especially in the workplace they can kind of hinder you even it you know financially so it looks like you are um working really really hard paying more attention to detail and really just planting good seeds for yourself some of you you've already planted a lot of really really good seeds and you just needed to um be patient and now it's like finally those things are coming into fruition for you so this is really good the three of wands so this is all about manifestation okay manifestation and then the king of pentacles is here so right now it looks like your ships are coming in and what you can expect to come in is more security and stability i see all green here so this again like i said is your security your stability you yourself are becoming more stable more secure you are creating more abundance whatever you're working on um you can expect to be um it's like you have the midas touch king of pentacles some of you you might be changing your job you could find yourself working with someone who um you work you know better with as compared to whoever you may be working for now and this may really help you so for some of you you may have a change in your job the king of pentacles also for some of you you're getting out of a not so great relationship or you're coming out of a season of being single and you can look forward to going into a relationship with someone who is already you know grounded stable they're accomplished or they're working on accomplishing something for themselves this is someone who would be a good you know partner a good parent so you're planning for for long-term success in your life now I feel like many of you, you've already planted the seeds. Yeah, the Page of Wands. You could be deciding to do something that's, um, you know, more spiritual. The Ten of Wands. So the Page of Wands or the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're getting... <laughs> I'm seeing somebody just like throwing stuff. You're getting really excited now about ridding yourself of people and in situations and even energy i'm hearing energy blockages that have been prohibiting you really from seeing the truth and having clarity the high priestess is here next to the three of swords so there's a situation and then the two of swords that has had you feeling very indecisive or or, or blocked 
for a long time. Your intuition could have been blocked for a really long time. I feel like someone has been purposely placing burdens on you, okay? We don't always want to bring up magic, but for some of you, you've had a lot of just energy blockages. A lot of the readings lately have been talking about your chakras being misaligned or blocked. I think that for some of you, you're going through like a shift. There's a, a huge energetic shift that's happening, so you may really need to ground yourself, and you're going through like this recalibration, but some of you are vibing really, really high, and you do have people around you, um, like the reading that we had yesterday where I was talking about parasitic type of energies. Um, like, you know, energy vampires and narcissists, they're putting more on you than what you are meant to to bear at this time. But the Ace of Swords is here, so it's like you're overcoming a lot of these obstacles and challenges that are being presented to you. Some of you may have people, they have you working too hard. Or situations in your life, they seem to be very um, overbearing people in your life seem to be overbearing and your relationships they're burdening it seems like with the page of wands being here and then the ten of wands as soon as you get enthusiastic or optimistic about going in a new direction or trying something new it seems like there is something that kind of um comes in to block your intuition to kind of paralyze you in fear so that you won't make the decision to stand up for yourself. Like I said, this is something that doesn't want you to move out of a cycle, but it looks like you're pushing through. I hope you're pushing through. Four of Cups. Yeah, something here um, is being presented to you and you have to make sure that you are being very discerning of what's being offered to you because... It's like a really good opportunity here. And if you are not careful, if you focus on this Ten of Wands type of energy or this heartbreak or pain, you can miss out on something really good. Here is the King of Wands. Yeah, you have to take action like now. You have to take action. Why is Council here? And Balance, Three of Cups, Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, the Justice, the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Wow. So this is all about a spiritual awakening here that you're going through. Wise counsel with the King of Wands here. It's time for you to step up into a leadership role. You could be a little bit afraid to step into a, like a, a spiritual type of community for some of you. This is you connecting more with your soul tribe. I feel like too with the King of Wands and Wise Council here. That's like the hierophant energy. Your your um I don't want to say your morals and values are changing, but circumstances and conditions are changing. I feel like how you see certain situations or or who or what you subscribe to as far as getting guidance is shifting and changing. You're starting to trust yourself more. Some of you, of course, your third eye is opening up more. You're stepping more into this high priestess type of energy. You're learning things. And I feel like with the seven of wands being the first card, you're challenging things that have had you stuck. Yeah, And then the balance card is here. Yeah. You're definitely starting to blend other ideas with whatever you already have or you know. So this is a lot of um, diversity. Some of you could be um, longing to go into environments where there is more diversity, where you can just experience more versatility. You you need more experience in certain subject areas, and this could be anything. You know, you could be choosing to um, embrace more, like different things. I guess whether it's it's food, it's different friends, um, people of different races, backgrounds, cultures. Like you're. You're broadening your horizons right now. And I think that that's really good for you because there's like a, a light bulb moment that you've had about people, places, things, and situations currently in your life. And you have recognized that there's a misalignment. So you're going through an awakening right now. And I feel like it's starting to really shift and, and change how you want to plan for your future. You may have had to take some time out. Some of you, you know, when we have like spiritual warfare, um... It's really easy to get very upset about it, 
but it oftentimes it will challenge you and it'll force you to really go within to get more clarity about why you're facing that warfare and for a lot of you it's because it's time for you to level up it's time for you to guide other people it's time for you to change the way that you're leading or guiding your your friends or your family or, or just yourself you're needing to make these changes in your life here so you have this major awakening that's happening for you your awakening is actually inspiring other people around you to awaken the three of cups this is you celebrating i feel like you're going to be very happy about whatever new things you're about to start doing the three of cups is celebrations as well the holidays are here but um you know of course when family starts to gather together um there could be arguments, there could be secrets that come out, but those things are good because it allows you to have the breakthrough, breakthrough that you need. But of course, people could be announcing engagements, things like that. And then the Queen of Swords is here. So the Queen of Swords fell under the Page of Wands and the High Priestess. So this just tells me again, your intuition is being sharpened and you're cutting out things that don't serve you. With all these pentacles, you could be taking a break away from like friends, family, or the people in your environment now and really focusing more on like your career and your finances, especially with the Ace of Pentacles here. The Empress Divine Feminine is going to receive justice. And a lot of you, your justice is going to come in the form of abundance. This has been coming out a lot because the Ten of Pentacles is here and the Six of Wands. Something is going to be balanced out that you've been working on. So for some of you, something you've been working on, it hasn't quite come into fruition yet. Okay, you could have been working on something the, the last five to eight months. For some of you, you've been in a cycle for at least about seven years, and you're finally about to get out of that cycle. You're going to receive justice as the Empress because it looks like you're taking action, and it's time now for you to really like live the life that you've been creating. It's you're you're out of that season of just manifesting but a lot of you you've been manifesting you've been doing a lot of things right but unfortunately you've been in the wrong environment you've had the wrong people around you something has been blocking you from being able to truly just thrive where you are but you have a lot of abundance and prosperity coming that's going to be your karmic justice here financial security you, you're going to um, have a lot of financial security also coming from whatever this knowledge is that you're learning. We do have the high priestess and the hierophant out here in balance. So some of you, you could, like I said, you could be doing some type of spiritual work here. Okay. But something that you're learning, this could simply be you learning more about the law of attraction and manifestation and learning the importance of things being balanced out, okay? Because in this deck, the balance card is temperance. So you're learning how to do things in moderation. Some of you are learning to be um, a bit more aware of how you react and respond to certain situations. It's like you're being um, molded to, to have some type of victory and success. And you have to make very wise choices because for some of you, you will be in the public It's like you're going to be granted access to something. You're going to be awarded something very soon. I'm hearing cash reward. This is something you've manifested. Wow, justice. Yeah. You've been fighting for some type of justice or equality. The very first card that came out was the Seven of Wands. So you've been really standing up for your beliefs. Some of you, this is simply you, um, because the Six of Wands is here, you could have a platform, okay? And what I'm seeing is um, like transparency posts. So like on, on Instagram or TikTok or something, you may be sharing something and I feel like it's influencing other people. I feel like you're receiving... Um, you're receiving good karma for being like a beacon of light. You're being advised, don't give up. I know like the fight has been long and hard, but don't give up. The King of Cups is here. So I feel like you have people coming towards you who are going to be very warm and generous. This is a masculine energy. I feel like this person is someone who is trustworthy. 
this could be your energy or someone else's the two you have two two here okay so something here about choices and decisions I feel like you you recently made a very bold decision with the two of wands here. That's taking action. You made a, a really bold decision to move away from something that was causing you to be stuck and stagnant. Yeah, you were very determined. Nine of Wands, after a lot of wounding and everything else, it's like you were still determined to pick yourself up and move forward. And you took action to put an end to something. The Ten of Swords is here. So something in your life has finally ended. And endings, of course, bring about new beginnings. You're putting the past behind you completely. So the Temperance card is here once again. This is you utilizing self-control and having patience. Being willing to forgive and to heal. So it's just like something here has just taken time. There's a blessing, you know, that has been building for you. Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like something very fun and exciting, passionate is coming towards you. Yep. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever this offer or opportunity is that's coming towards you, like I said, it's going to definitely help you i feel with your finances and security but it's like you're maturing you're gonna finally have more peace balance and harmony in your life that allows you to just be happy yeah and be, oh my gosh here's the empress and the world the empress and the world is here archangel michael and archangel gabriel so it's like archangel michael is coming in to shut something down for you so that you can actually, I feel, ascend from the Queen of Pentacles to becoming the Empress. So you're finally, you're you're tying up a cycle of being the Queen of Pentacles, whether male or female, where you, you know, have been nurturing yourself and trying to do things that you love. Um, it's like you've tapped into some type of wisdom or knowledge that now it is allowing you to actually step into this energy of being the Empress. This comes from you healing yourself. So now, instead of you being practical, um, I feel like you now, as the empress, you're actually manifesting what you want. You're, you're no longer just in planning mode. You're actually manifesting and creating what you want. And Archangel Michael has come in to make sure that something comes full circle for you. This is a lot of spiritual growth. Okay, Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups. It's an offer of a new, like, emotional beginning that's going to bring about wish fulfillment. Like, you're going to be happy. There's going to be joy. It's like a wish come true. So you could receive, like, a, an offer from someone. Someone could ask you to go out. This could be... Um, an offer of a new friend, you going out somewhere, you being invited somewhere. It's something that's very, you know, it's small, but it's sweet. And it, it, it has potential to lead into something very, very beautiful for you. Ten of Michael, which is a ten of swords. A situation has ended. You're finally free. Like you're you're actually free, and it's really I really like this because the reading that I just did you got it was dark it was filthy it it was so much just pain um, that has been placed upon the back the the shoulders and the head of especially our divine feminine collective. So I feel like this is very beautiful because it's like Archangel Michael, you know, your spirit guides, your angels, ancestors, ascended masters, God, Holy Spirit. They're coming in and they're saying, like, this is over. You may be feeling it, but right now, don't focus so much on the, the deception or the portrayal. Focus on the spiritual strength that you're um, gaining from this situation. 
this is clearing the path for you to have brand new like opportunities that's going to bring a lot of happiness the knight of wands is here so you have the page and the knight so it, this is something brand new the page and the knight is something brand new like something that you can be passionate about i feel like again your your pain is being turned into passion power uh profit you know this is the five of cups this is you know understanding everything happens for a reason you had to go through something so that you could go from the queen of pentacles to the empress so there is nothing here for you to regret just embrace the opportunities that are being presented to you now because archangel michael is like this cycle of your life is over i'm gonna make sure that it's over and you have something brand new that's going to lead to wish fulfillment for you the two of swords it's gonna get better but you have to make a decision this is your decision to make okay this is a stalemate energy that came out before where spirit is saying you have to take a leap of faith you're gonna have to stand up for yourself and your beliefs and your intuition is screaming at you telling you what to do you now have to act on it yeah nine of swords there's no need for you to be stuck in analysis paralysis and you know worrying about a situation here there's something in your life that you just know you're not going to get the outcome that you want so no need to be regretful or feeling guilty or worried just move it's time to just move on the ace of swords is here and here is card number five which i guess this will be the hierophant again so you have ace of michael and the hierophant so Archangel Michael, your spiritual team, they're coming in and they're providing you now with the divine guidance to just move forward. They're, they're showing you that this is the meaning of life. The meaning of life is for you to have test trials, tribulations, share your testimony and continue to ascend in your life purpose. You need to surround yourself with like-minded people. Surround yourself with people who are a part of your soul family, your soul tribe, who can assist you on your journey get closer to your spirit your spiritual team your angels guys ancestors passed on loved ones or whatever because they can assist you now with giving you new ideas so that you don't face these same challenges you know i always say new levels new devils there's always going to be a challenge but i really hope that all of us can get out of the habit of of constantly battling the same demon you know stop getting stuck on the same level it's time for you you learned a lesson here now let's move to the next you're gonna have to keep battling different devils for each level but make sure that you're receiving the proper guidance and trusting your intuition to know how to to battle the next fight let's stop fighting the same thing over and over yeah the ten of wands is here it's time for you to ask your angels. A, a lot of what you're going through right now is teaching you the importance of you leaning on and trusting God. Really being, you know, as people say, that faithful, humble servant and understanding that maybe this this battle that you're, fi you're fighting has already been won. This is a war that has already been won by God. So choose your battles wisely. Don't overexert yourself fighting whatever this is because you're needing to lighten your load because you have the sun here. 19, that breaks down to the number 10. It's a completion here. So this will be two tens. What is this? Yeah, and then the eight of Gabriel, the eight of wands. So when you drop these burdens here, this 10 of wands, and you start focusing on how beautiful life can truly be with the sun being here that's when things will take off your results for anything that you touch will be immediate almost yeah but this is a decision that you have to make the two of wands and then here's the nine of pentacles thing and the king of cups so this is saying that you know you have love and you have pentacles the nine of pentacles so here we have five seven eight pentacles and now we have the nine of pentacles so your money is growing your money is definitely growing hmm. 
Interesting. Is this love or... See how the Page of Pentacles and then the Seven of Swords. I feel like this Seven of Swords here is saying that there is an offer here that's being presented to you, but be sure to review the details. I feel like, you know what this is for some of you? You're so used to carrying burdens by yourself you're being forced to be very uncomfortable in this next season and it's <laughs> it's like god is gonna force you to work with people god is going to first like force you to build connections and to work with people so that you learn how to trust people and trust yourself again i feel like a lot of people have been betrayed stabbed in the back and have been alone for so long where you've sort of been forced to carry burdens by yourself. It's like God, your angels, they're coming in and they're being very like clever right now with the way they're going to force you to have more balance in your life is they're going to present ideas and opportunities to you that are going to force you outside of your comfort zone where you will have to actually work with other people. It's like other people are going to like you have ideas that need to be refined the only the only way you're going to get that type of refinement is when you learn how to trust people so you're being forced to come out of this cycle of i can't trust people i can't depend on people like you know being a a victim of abuse really you're, you're being forced to come out of that and this is going to make you very uncomfortable this part of healing is very uncomfortable yeah Six of Cups, exactly. And this card, it even says, um, embrace your inner child. New friends or rekindle relationships, children or childhood. You need to get back to your childlike self. And here's the Emperor. And the Chariot, yeah. So for you to move into this energy of the Emperor or for you to go towards an Emperor... If you're because the empress is already out here, you first are going to have to heal your inner child. This is you getting more into your feminine energy and being open now to receiving love, receiving help from the king of cups, learning how to trust again. Some of you have had so many like bad friendships, relationships, and everything, like they just go downhill. You have something very beautiful coming in now. Someone who, you know, will be generous and nice honorable trustworthy and you're you're gonna have to stop blocking love because the seven of wands is here now and it's in front of the lovers and new beginnings you're you you, you could be possibly be blocking out love and a new beginning because of this devil energy here you're gonna have to release yourself from the past and things that don't serve you and really heal your inner child it's okay. You may need to go out with some friends, rekindle some relationships, meet new people, you know, um, try therapy, life coaching, things like that, you know, really figure out what your pain points are. Detox your life, cleanse away the clutter because the clutter in your mind is causing you to have a lack of self-confidence. It's you're like a caged bird because of the drama you've been through. And that with the seven of wands here is you blocking the lovers and a new beginning. You blocking this new path, this new contract where you can have love. The emperor is here with the king of cups. Somebody wants to move forward with you. They're coming into your life or coming back into your life. They want to move forward with you to have a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment and joy and peace and contentment you may be in an energy right now being very overprotective of your heart and defensive because you've gone through so much some of you you've been going through rejection abandonment you know heartache pain suffering and all these different things since childhood but it's like spirit is coming in now saying you get a break like you get the green light to go and be happy now yeah 
Yeah, you have a lot to be happy and grateful for. I see the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel, the Six of Swords. Wow, the Magician, yeah. And then the High Priestess. The Wheel, 10, and this is the number 10 as well. That's the completion. And here we have the number one and the number two. So something here is lining up and then here is a number three. Okay, so you have two tens here. Some of you have a double mission. You have two different cycles in your life that are closing. There's a cycle I feel just, you know, with friends, family, and love. And then you have a, a cycle that's also closing when it comes to your finances and abundance. Okay, practice gratitude and move forward. Your delays are over, but you're, you're going to have to put in the work as the magician and trusting your own intuition learning how to be at peace the high priestess is at peace because the high priestess trust that he or she you know they trust that their their gifts their talents and abilities are valuable you can manifest the life and the love that you want if you believe in yourself i just feel like life for some you know for some people it has been difficult honestly but it's like the light at the end of the tunnel is here. Some of you may want to just like, you may need to make a drastic change, you know, relocating, changing your job, ending a relationship, ending, you know, it, like really having those endings and new beginnings because it looks like you have an opportunity to have a lot of personal growth. Like I said, more diversity even. Like you moving somewhere different or being in a different work environment or just around different people, I think it's going to really help. Hmm. I see some lifestyle cards. You have courage and join in. So... For some of you, you may be dealing with a little bit of like imposter syndrome or you, you could be very introverted or you could have like social anxiety or something like that. I feel like there's just a lot of trust issues that's here and you're needing to resolve those issues because the spirit is saying join in. Connect with your spiritual team here. Connect with people um, that you can create good memories with. I, it's like if you... Take the time now to make happy memories and share those happy moments and experiences with people. It will it will shift your perspective about relationships, your relationship dynamic with friends, family, lovers. It'll change and you will have the courage to really take a leap of faith to start trusting people. And that's going to make you more confident when it comes to you simply just being yourself. Okay, for some of you, it's like you're needing to embrace yourself more. Okay, really take your mask off. It's just a big load off here that's, you know, taking place. What is this? Sentimental feelings, yeah. You may feel very sentimental about certain things. Some of you, you know, you feel like you never got a chance to say certain things or you still have certain items or memories that you're holding on to you it may be time for you to detach from those things yeah exactly grief work you need to detach it's time to to cleanse to declutter to detox you know throw your ex's t-shirt away i don't know but you're holding on to something still so tightly and it's not allowing you to do the grief work yeah leaving someone may have left you you could feel rejected or abandoned in some type of situation or you could have a fear of walking away from a situation because you have to change you have here health care change and sobriety for some of you you could be i'm getting specifically you could be mad at um someone in your life a friend a family member or even a lover who could have had some type of addictions this person unfortunately could have even passed away Okay, this person, you, you could have tried to get this person to make certain healthcare changes and they left you. You could still be having a lot of sentimental feelings and needing to do grief work, but you're going to have to realize that this is not your fault and not every person that you meet is going to leave you, hurt you, or abandon you. Some of you, this runs deep. This could be even, you know, something in childhood. Some of you, you have 
um, taking on bad habits or even addictions and it's time for you to make a healthcare change. You need to be true to yourself and by doing that, it's going to bring um, a windfall of abundance. I, I feel like abundance will flow into all areas of your life. It'll be new friends, new, you know, rekindle relationships, new money, new opportunities. You just being healthier. Body changes. So definitely something here about... Um, health and body and the reading yesterday i was talking about a papaya cleanse to clear clear your body of like parasites so you may want to look for detoxes or cleanses that will help you to rid your body of you know parasites or um cleaning your colon or um getting rid of the the heavy metals all of those things really slow you down you may be feeling very fatigued and sluggish um having a lot of brain fog just doing a nice reset a cleanse may really help you you know, or you may be encouraging someone around you to do this. Maybe you want to do this with another person. Maybe it's time for you to start moving your body to make some body changes. Some of you could be, wow, look at this. Volunteer and new exercise program. So it's something clearly here about health. So what I'm hearing is some of your issues in your, with your body is physiological, okay? Meaning your, your physical body is being affected by things that are happening to you psychologically, so remember, I was saying like your chakras and stuff like that. So for some of you, energy is trapped in your body and that manifests, you know, into disease. Your dis-ease is causing some sometimes disease in your body, stress and anxiety that leads to people, you know, um, taking too much medication or turning to um, drugs and alcohol, stuff like that. This, this may not be you. This could be someone else. But even if you've had to deal with someone who has any type of addictions, that takes a toll on you too. Some of you could be dealing with a person who's elderly or what that takes a toll on you. You're just being advised now to really prioritize yourself and do something to make yourself happy. Surrender fear. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Surrender to setting limits. Those cards have been coming out a lot. Um, Surrender to non-action. It says, now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Hmm. Some of you are very frustrated right now. And when you get frustrated, you want to go to the problem. And Spirit is saying right now, don't do anything. Pray, meditate, surrender to Spirit. Once you've done everything that you can to help someone or to try to achieve a certain goal or change a situation. The only thing you can do now is give this to God. Just let go and let God. Like there's nothing else you can you can do in a certain situation here. You need to pray more, rest, sleep more, and take better care of yourself. Because the the worry, your stress, fear, anxiety, and all of this worry, spirit is saying now you need to surrender to the wisdom of your body some of you you're going around certain people and you feel drained you feel uncomfortable like i said these parasitic like energies you need to move away from things that don't allow you to feel happy and energized because it's blocking you from moving forward you're going to have to stand up for yourself and create boundaries create a barrier here between you and certain people places things and energies that's going to cut out a lot of this worry. Somebody here could be a smoker. You'll stop smoking as much or um, you won't drink as much coffee. Like if you allowed yourself to have more joy in your life, there's people and things around you that's robbing you of your joy, your overall peace, happiness, and just contentment that you need to just release. Um, let's see what's happening in love. Let's use those. What's going on in love? I actually don't want to use these. What's going on? What's going on? 
What's going on? I feel like some of you right now are you're you're really busy juggling things in your life with trying to come out of this crazy time you're in. You might not be that focused on love, honestly. Um, I definitely just feel like trauma from love situations where, um, yeah, I just saw the five of cups. You're you're trying to recover. Okay, here it is again, five of cups. You're trying to recover. After some type of ending that I really, it took a real toll on you. If this isn't you, this is on, yeah. There's been a lot of fussing, fighting, arguing, chaos, conflict, just competition. You going back and forth with someone possibly here. And I feel like you may have given something another shot and you're choosing now to really move on to pursue happiness for yourself. Which is good, but obviously there was a tower moment that happened here. And this tower is bringing you a new beginning. Okay. It's really like to the point. What's going on here? Okay. Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is just sick and tired of somebody cheating. I know that much. Some of you could have found out that like you had invested a lot with someone and this person was seeing someone else. The tower here, the ten of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Or some of you could have been dealing with someone and you're finding out the tower has, has hit that this could be this could be a lot of different things. I'm seeing for some of you, you're finding out that someone that you were dealing with they're married, they're committed, or they're working on a situation with someone else. Or someone could be finding out that someone wants to work on a situation that's long term with you. Can we get some new new love stuff coming out here, please? so tired of these third-party situations we're, we're just in that season though we're in that in between season we just have to wait for these energies to clear out um a lot of people they are pursuing happiness here you know a lot of people are possibly trying to come back from your past or you even have new people who are entering your life but they unfortunately a lot of people just have some baggage but okay here we have it ace of wands something brand new it's passionate it's a New beginning here, it's you manifesting the three of wands, understanding the law of attraction, you being being and becoming a vibrational match for what you truly desire. The knight of wands, this is being very passionate and optimistic and lively. You know, this is the reason why some of you, you, you need to listen to the wisdom of your body. You know, start moving your body around, getting that energy out of the way, releasing those blockages because... Something in your life is being balanced out here, temperance. I think a lot of you, you want to prepare. You made the decision now. Yeah, the judgment and the ace of swords. You have made the decision now that you want happiness. You want peace. You want harmony. And I feel like you're willing to give up anything that does not give that to you. Some of you have a lot of options coming. You're manifesting a lot of options or you will have a lot of different options in love if you simply just take that leap of faith, I feel, with the Knight of Swords here, just take action. There's going to be a chance meeting here that you're going to have with a person. And it's going to be brand new. The World, the Fool, and the Two of Cups. Ooh, this is good. Okay, finally. Eight of Wands. And this may quickly move into a very serious, committed relationship. With the Wheel of Fortune here and the Star. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Wish fulfillment. Happiness. You could work with this person. They're fair. They're just. Yeah, someone here has their eye on the prize. Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I like this. Something new is coming in. It's a new energy. I don't know if it's a new person. It's a new energy, though. And this is from you really standing up for yourself and just saying enough is enough. I want something better for myself. I want a serious, committed relationship. This is you communicating to the divine listen i want a person that i can be married to i can be committed like i can grow old with this person and sit on rocking chairs and eat starburst with this person with this one person <laughs> or whatever your favorite candy is i don't know <laughs> but yeah it's um the star will of fortune you're going towards something that's beautiful for you it's destined it's wish fulfillment it, you're relaxed okay 
detox cleanse take your spiritual baths but something here is going to take off rather quickly if you just take that leap of faith here the fool and the eight of wands I want a uh, um hold on. I'm really going to find out this whole love deck situation soon. I used to do just love rings, but I used to always just stick to, you know, the tarot cards, but I have so many beautiful oracles. <laughs> Let's see. This is the psychic tarot for the heart. What else can you tell the spirit about this love? Heal. You need to heal a bit more for there to be joy and stability. Someone's birthday could be April 17th or April 17th could be significant. I don't know. Something could happen in four days, four weeks, four months. Something could happen on the 17th. You're waiting on your 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 person. You want your like divine counterpart. And Spirit says if you believe, you know, that you can have it, you will have it. Just make sure you're doing the work to have a successful relationship with this person. Darkest fears. Mm. I feel like you really need to go within and, and figure out what your darkest fears are. Or you could be connecting with someone who's doing the same thing. This is the number nine. So th this tells me that something is wrapping up. It's completion. Darkest fears. Someone has a very dark fear possibly of moving. Um, it's like here you need to just breathe. I really feel that some of you, you fear intimacy and companionship now because of the traumatic experiences that you've had. You're going to have to overcome that. Yeah. And I think you're in that mode of like it's all or nothing. There's an, the number nine is out here twice. So something is ending and the number five is out here twice. Sacral chakra, throat chakra, wow. And then manifest is here. Opportunity beckons and coming together, okay. Who are you coming together with? Someone that shares the same morals and values as you. There's an opportunity for you to manifest a very long-term committed relationship or partnership with an, a new energy whether it's a new person or past person that's your business but five means big changes here and it's all or nothing it says here win or lose but you have throat chakra and sacral chakra here this is all about you manifesting this is your life force this is you communicating what do you really really want and this could be a really dark deep fear for someone to actually pursue people in relationships or to say how you truly feel it's like you're being encouraged to let that go or this is you know what's happening with someone that may want to connect with you they're really afraid yeah you have balance so this is two becoming one temperance energy wow rebuild and then the i guess this is like the ace of pentacles love abounds and embrace choose your battles so there's a cycle here that is over for some of you i am getting like reconciliation energy now this reconciliation could be with someone who is actually brand new but both of you could have just come out of a karmic cycle where you learn a lot in your individual lives and you're now coming together there will be that residual like energy that debris there from whatever you like have both gone through individually and you're just going to have to learn in order to maintain peace, balance, and harmony to choose your battles. Okay. That's why it's so important for you right now to really balance your own energy. Learn how to communicate effectively. Choose your battles wisely. But you have a lot of love here. But I feel like you and someone both, you're rebuilding your life. Or if this is someone from your past that you've been with, you have an opportunity to rebuild this relationship. And I can hear you like, I want new love. It can be a new love, but you know, we're all human. We're all adults here. You know, you, you can't, this person is not gonna come to you perfect necessarily. They could have went through the same drama and battles that you've gone through. They're human. They're going to have pain, you know, and triggers just like you. 
So just, you know, pick and choose your battles wisely with that. Have a bit of grace and mercy with whoever this is. Separation, okay? So you and someone could be separated right now. But this is your soulmate. <laughs> It seems like you need to give a relationship a chance. Deception. I feel like someone is actually hiding how much they really care for you. Someone is hiding um, how much pain they're in. But very soon, I feel like this person will be communicating something to you. Yeah. Very soon, they'll be expressing their love. Or you need to um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Engagement. So, there's going to be like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here very soon where someone is going to admit to you that they do want this relationship to ascend to a higher level of commitment. There's a separation here that has taught you and someone a lot about life and about love. Let your friends help you. Past life relationship while in wedding. Ooh, okay worth waiting for so for some of you this separation this may this could be someone brand new but because this is a past life relationship you and this person you've been separated for like an entire lifetime and <laughs> you're finally coming back together you could meet this person through a mutual friend but when i see let, let your friends help you for me as a reader i feel like you need to be contacting your spirit guides angels and ancestors to really help you be discerning when it comes to this situation because those past life relationships they can be very beautiful but they they do typically come with karma this is past life karma here um but it says that this is worth waiting for and stay optimistic okay but you need to free yourself now from any type of heartache pain that you could be dealing with and this person hopefully they're doing the same thing if you know this person it could be a situation where um you know, it wasn't anything super serious or this is someone from your past, like your more distant past. Or you and someone have been separated a really long time to the point that you're, you don't know this person and the energy that they're, if, if this is someone that you do know, you will start from ground zero. Does that rhyme? If this is someone that you know, you will start from ground zero. <laughs> <laughs> wait yeah the timing is not quite right because you and this person you're on different pages at some point you may not have shared the same vision um for some of you you and someone you're on different pages because one of you may be having financial challenges but it says your true love is already part of your life so you and someone could have separated because of financial challenges and let's all be honest financial challenges will uh, affect all areas of your life Okay, financial challenges will cause you to be stressed and stress leads to people overeating, indulging in alcohol, all kinds of stuff. Stress from finances changes intimacy. It changes a lot. So you and someone could have been struck having some type of issues because of financial challenges. You know, someone could have been in the process of starting a business or lost a business, lost a job, starting a new job, going back to school. It's so many different things. Like I said, on this channel, I always try to include, like make mention of, we're all adults here and life is happening. Finances, yeah, don't just miss the red flags here. There's a warning. There was a warning here that the timing isn't right. So like I said, for some of you, you may have met someone that's actually a past life soulmate that you may actually end up being in a very serious commitment with. I mean, we have both engagement and wedding here and worth waiting for. But there was a clear warning about you and this person not sharing the same vision or being on different pages because of challenges here with your finances. Either you or this person, it, you weren't equally yoked. It would have just caused too much chaos and conflict. It says here, detached with love to clearly see the truth. And you've learned the spirit, spiritual lesson. So you and this person could have had to detach. This could be someone that, you know, you were with in childhood. And your lives just could have taken two totally different paths. I, it, it seems like life has taught you both different lessons. Whether this is someone you, oh, I'm sorry. Whether it's someone that you know, but it's 1111. <laughs> Make a wish. Whether this is someone that you know or someone um, 
I mean, obviously, for a lot of you, it is the one that you know. But it doesn't matter what the past was. There's a lesson that has been learned here. Yep, look. An addiction here is um, affecting this relationship. Radical acceptance and surrender can help let you go. And remember all those cards we had? So somebody could have been going through a stressful situation or there could be just a lot of codependency here. Okay. Someone could have definitely been going through just a tough time in life and could have been drinking, gambling, or anything here. And you may have had to let this person go. You know, and that's what I'm saying. Financial challenges can lead to a, a lot of different things. Someone could have been staying in a, another situation because of codependency. But it says here, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Children are important to this relationship and true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So someone here is regretful about the challenges that they've had and the fact that maybe they couldn't be with you at some point. Somebody, if you meet this person and they're new in your life, they may say, man, I wish I would have met you before. But this can't come together until it's balanced because spirit doesn't want you to be in a one-sided situation. A lot of you, this is someone though that you, you know, okay? They're going to come in and apologize to you. And you may need to apologize to this person too because you could have been in a space, a place where you needed to heal some childhood issues and some other things. One of you needed to heal family issues while the other may have needed to heal financial challenges. But this is a faded connection here. There's destined where the two of you, you can be very open with one another. So the timing wasn't right in the beginning here, but it's like... If you, the two of you have done the healing work and you're willing to be vulnerable with each other, you can recapture a lot of romance here. If this is a new person, you just need to be honest about where you are in life. You know, you may have boundaries, but, you know, don't have your walls built up so high that this person just can't get in. But they may have a story to tell you like, hey, I just went through some stuff the last year, you know, and you may have some stories to tell too i'm sure you do if you're watching this channel i know <laughs> you have you have your own battle stories and wounds you know don't tell anybody too much especially if they're new but i'm just saying don't be afraid to be honest 